How's it going YouTube? My name is Hase, and today is the video that some people have been waiting for. I mean, I've been getting a qu couple questions about it, like when it's happening. Um, it is the verdict between metal and clear braces. Um, instead of doing a vlog, I thought a better way to do it would be to play some video games behind it. So this is Grand Theft Auto 5, if you don't know that. Super fun game. Uh, I've been playing it lots. And I'm doing a race right now, and I'm not very good at riding a bike. This is a live commentary, by the way. So if I go a little off course, that is why. So anyways, I have talked to my orthodontist about this because I was really torn between metal or clear. I mean, I've had a lot of people tell me Metal's the way to go, but I've also had a lot of people tell me that clear is the way to go. So that led me to be a very confused boy. And so I got a little more information from my orthodontist about this. I sat down and talked to him about it. So I'm going to be saying some negatives and positives. And I have all my notes in front of me on my iPad. So I'm probably going to veer off course on my bike a little bit. But that is just for you guys to make sure that you have all the proper information and I don't forget anything that I know personally. So anyways, we're going to start with the positives for the clear. So the most obvious positive for the clear is the fact that... Oh god, yeah, it's going to be harder than I thought. It's okay. We'll do it. Okay, so the most obvious one is that it is harder to see than the metal one. So... Clear, the clear braces will lead it to appear as a kind of retainer because, to my knowledge, the metal, the metal band that goes through the braces is still metal and it isn't actually clear. So it'll just appear as a retainer. And one of my fr good friends at school actually has clear braces and I saw them the other day and I, I thought that he was just wearing a retainer. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then the next positive is that they are a lot easier on your gums and lips so as anybody with metal braces will know the braces do cut up your cut up your like the inside of your lips and your gums a little bit uh if you don't have enough wax i think they give you wax so yeah the ceramic ones are a little i think they're made of ceramic and the clear ones are a lot easier on your gums and your lips and woo, I won first. I don't think I was racing anyone. Um, but yeah, a lot easier on the gums and lips. And they don't cut them up as much because they are a little softer, I believe. That's just to my knowledge. Um, and those were the two main positives for the clear that I could think of. And then we can move on to the negatives now. So the first negative and one of the main kind of main kickers for me was the fact that it's more expensive. So from what I've heard, it's about $500 more expensive just to get the clear ones. And I'm not paying for it personally, but um, my mother is. And she's already paying upwards to $7,000 to $10,000 for these braces. And I think that that is just, it's something that, I mean, $500 is a lot of money, and I thought that saving that or just getting metal would be a little little more. Like, I don't want to seem like that kind of kid that is going to be high maintenance and cost an extra $500 when she's already spending $7,500 of her own money on them. So that was one of the main kickers for not getting clear. And then the next one is that they stain. So I was talking to my orthodontist about this, and he said it's not the actual brackets that stain, it's the elastics that go over it and hold the wire in place. Now, those get changed every four to six weeks, he told me, um, but they do stain, and that's just something to keep in mind, is that they do indeed stain, so they get a little yellow or brownish, and when they do stain, they do make your teeth appear to be more yellow, and um, that's kind of... That's that's another big thing and a big kicker is that it makes your teeth look yellow. So, I mean, you can have... They're going to be obvious. It's going to be obvious once they do pick up some staining that they're there. So I thought that that was a little... That was another kicker. Also, they are slower than the metal ones. And meaning this by... 
my orthodontist he used the terms the metal ones slide a little faster so it'll take less time in the long run to you know get all your work done and the next one is they're harder to clean i've heard so once they do pick up that staining they're stained and that's that's it i mean there's no there's no amount of brushing that can get rid of that staining so that is what I got for the negatives for the clear. So we can move on to the positives for the metal. Now, the number one was that they move faster. As I explained when I was t saying the negatives of the clear, they, they slide faster and that shortens the uh, period of time for the treatment. Now, I'm imagining once I get my braces in, I'm going to want them off as soon as possible. And even if it's a couple, like a month or two, I'd rather not have them for that month or two. So that is probably the number one positive about the metal that I found. Uh, the next positive is you can get creative with the colors of the bands. Now, I don't see myself doing this personally, but someone that's a little younger, maybe in elementary school or starting high school, maybe grade, maybe 13 years old for anybody that doesn't go by high school and elementary school, about 13, 12 years old, I see you getting a little creative with the colors because you choose the colors of the bands and you can kind of alternate and do whatever you want with them. So that may be a positive to someone, not really a big one to me. I'm probably just going to get a black or something, something basic and plain, you know, just trying to get the appearance down a little bit. Um, easier to maintain is another one. So, like I was saying with the clear ones, it would be a little little more difficult to maintain them in the sense of cleaning them and keeping them, you know, to the best, to the best kind of appearance that you can. So, um, also, as I said about the clear ones, they're cheaper. So, that's also good. They're cheaper. I've already explained my point of view of that. Um, okay, so now we can move on to some of the negatives of the metal ones. So, the main one that I've heard from people is that they make you look 10. Now, this isn't be, this won't be a problem for people that are actually around that age range, but for people like myself going on 18, 17, 18, or anything older, I mean, you don't want to look like you're 10. And I understand where you're coming from when you're talking about how you don't want to look 10 and you don't want to look younger because... I don't know. For me personally, I don't want that. So, that's a negative about that. And as I said before, they cut up your gums a lot. Um, from what I've heard, if you don't have enough wax, they're going to be pretty rough on your gums and your lips. And, you know, it's just going to be uncomfortable and it's going to be sore. And this is already... This expander that I have in my mouth, if you haven't seen the previous videos, check them out. Uh, I have an expander in my mouth. Um, and that cut up my tongue. And that left a sore on my tongue, which was really sore. It made it hard to eat and even talk. Um, so I imagine that's going to be pretty rough. Okay. So, and another big one is that they're easily noticeable. So, of course, every time you open your mouth, people are going to see you have metal braces. But you know what? If you have a problem with people knowing that you have braces, I don't think you should have braces because no matter which way you go, people are still going to know that you have braces in your mouth. So that was it for the negatives. And now my verdict for you guys. So my verdict is that I am definitely getting metal braces. Now, some of you may cringe when you hear that, but I think I've explained myself pretty well in the points that I've given. These, once again, all those points were actually pulled from people that I've talked to that have metal braces and clear braces, but also, more importantly, my orthodontist. So he gave me some information about that, which is really helpful. And, yeah, so I get metal braces. That's coming March 11th, which is sooner than I kind of realized until these past few days. And, um, yeah, so that's this Tuesday, if you guys are watching this video when it goes out. Before this Tuesday, that's when it's going up. If you're watching it after, thanks for watching. Um, but I probably have braces by now. So I will be making a vlog then. And I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog the actual procedure, but I might be able to, depending if my if someone goes with me, because I don't really want to do it while they're doing it. 
That'd be kind of, you know, awkward and weird, I think. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please thumbs up this video and get it to 10. I would love to get this video to 10. I mean, that's my goal. Um, but of course, if it's at 10 and you're watching this, give it a thumbs up anyway. So the more, the more thumbs up that I get, the happier I am and the more motivated I am to keep making videos. Now, I love making videos. And if you want to see more gameplay and videos like this, please let me know. Also, if you want to play with me on the PlayStation Nation, that is PS3 or PS4, please feel free to add me. Uh, my PSN is hostly the same as my YouTube. Sorry for all you Xbox folk. Um, I may get an Xbox soon, though, if you really want me to. And if I really want to, really. And, yeah, that's it. As always, keep it classy, guys, and enjoy the internet.